hello and welcome to Gina Moon. This is your weekly tarot reading. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and take a look at your dominant energy and your dominant energy represents the energy that's influencing your entire reading. I'm also going to take a look at your past, present, future energies, anything that is in your challenge position, what's coming towards you in your opportunity as well. Okay, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Remember also that this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. It could be you towards somebody, somebody towards you. If you feel the need to reverse the roles and go ahead and do so. Also, this can be for your sun, your moon rising, or your Venus placement. So if those positions are dominant within your astrology chart, please make sure to check those positions out as well, because those might resonate with you more than this one. Okay, let's go and see what you are starting off with. And you're starting off with the dominant energy of the drum roll you have here self-trust okay so here with self-trust the number 22 which is equal to the number four you're going to see a lot of harmony if you start trusting yourself you're going to see something here i feel that for some of you guys this might be family related related to your home environment okay where you were raised okay where you come from uh that sort of thing for others it could also be love related career related whatever else okay so self-trust trust yourself trust your own judgment don't trust the outside world if you're watching the news and you feel like something is off trust yourself about that okay don't trust things or situations outside of you. Trust your intuition. Let's go ahead and see what this is all about here for you. Let's see what your past, present, future energy has here. Okay, so in the recent past, you have here the Page of Pentacles, present energies, King of Swords, and in the near future, the Page of Cups reverse. At the bottom here, you have the Emperor. Could be Aries energy, could also be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But at the bottom of the deck here with the Emperor, this is all about you tapping into your masculinity, okay? There are times when I advised for you guys to be more nurturing, more so in your feminine energy. Doesn't matter if you're male or female, but right now, it's all about stepping into to your power, stepping into the authority figure that is within you. Okay. We all have an authority figure within us, and this is all about you taking that out. Okay. This authority figure, this leadership role. Okay. I feel like for most of you guys, what this means also is for you guys to tune into that part of you that is more logical. Okay. More realistic, more practical rather than idealistic. Okay. Let's see why this is here for you. But in the recent past with the page of pentacles here i do see that somebody here offered something whether they offered a commitment whether they offered to get to know somebody but i do sense that this some um, this is something here where a seed was planted okay and i feel like this is the this was the beginning stages of something more we're going to see in uh when we clarify more so of the details but here with the king of swords in your present energies like i said it's all about you tuning into that energy of your logical you know kind of mind don't wear your heart on your sleeve. I do also see that you are emotionally detached from something or someone. Again, if you're watching the news, that's just an example. Trust yourself. Trust your own judgment. Trust your own an analytical mind, okay? Trust your own facts. Whatever it is that you observe, you're like, hmm, I feel like something is off right here. Oh, no, 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 it's not. No, just sign here. Just sign here. No, you know what? I think I'm going to take a step back and I'm going to read this document before I sign sign it. That's just an example, right? So again, be in your masculine energy. Don't just say yes, just because people around you are trying to influence that, you know, yes out of you. Now here in the near future, you have also here the page of cups reverse. Now here at the page of cups reverse, I see that you're going to reject something. Okay. <laughs> you're going to reject somebody or something coming in. Okay. I feel like the reason why you are rejecting this is because again, you are trusting yourself. You're trusting your own judgment. And you're like, you know what? This smells like BS to me. I feel like no. <laughs> okay. So there's this energy where in the near future, you're going to be so tuned into your intuition. Okay. And I do sense that whenever BS comes your way, you're going to say no. Okay. That's not for me. Now let's go ahead and see why self-trust is here for you as your dominant energy. 
so you have here the magician the six of wands the three of pentacles as well as the eight of pentacles could be capricorn virgo taurus aries leo sagittarius but i do see here with self-trust there is something here that you are very focused in on okay you're focused you're putting in the work you're putting in the effort i do sense that you're trying to manifest something that's why you're so focused okay now trust yourself with regards to your powers this is all about you taking action when you feel that nudge when you feel like the time is right that's when you take action okay towards this this is all about action 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 i do sense that if you take action when you feel the nudge okay when you feel it within you not when people are telling you when you know when to do this you're going to have victory you're going to achieve something here you're going to have a lot of appreciation a lot of accolades a lot of attention positive attention coming your way and i do see that some of you guys somebody here is going to offer you uh to pay you more money you're going to attract more money you're going to attract a new job a new career for others of you guys this has to do with somebody here wanting to collaborate with you in some kind of way work something out as a team that sort of thing okay now let's go ahead and see why the page of pentacles is here in the recent past for you why is this page of pentacles in the recent past so here you have the king of wands the wheel of fortune the ace of cups as well as the six of pentacles so yeah in the recent past i see that there was brand new love okay this brand new love led to you giving a lot of yourself i feel like somebody here was very generous of spirit generous with money as well but i'm also getting that somebody here felt the other person felt breadcrumbed it's almost as if somebody here was only giving just enough to the connection because remember this is not a huge pentacle this is small this is not much you know this is not much, okay? Sure, it's the beginning stages of something, but I do see that something here was meant to be that way. The reason why you experienced this, okay, in the recent past, yes, there was a lot of love, yes, there was a lot of, you know, opening up of heart chakras, but also something was destined to happen in this way, okay? There was some kind of lesson that you needed to learn in the recent past, but I do see that you did learn something. You learned how to be more generous of spirit, of love with yourself. Now, here with the King of Swords, let's see why this King of Swords is here in your present energies. Why is this King of Swords in your present energies? And you have here the Ten of Wands, the Two of Cups reversed, the Five of Swords, as well as the Seven of Wands. Okay, so yeah, in your present energies, remember you have self-trust there, okay? You're going to have to set some ground rules. You're going to have to set some boundaries with people, situations around you, okay? I'm also getting that. You're going to have to be a little bit stubborn in what you trust within yourself. Somebody here might be telling you, no, this is not right. You know, this is this way. And you're like, hmm, no, no, it's really not. I My intuition never fails me. So this is something about you setting some boundaries, saying no, I've had enough, okay? And I'm also getting that this is you standing firm on your convictions okay now i'm also getting that the reason why you need to do that is because somebody here is trying to make you feel overwhelmed okay they're trying to put more responsibilities on you than what you can carry okay so it could be the fact that right now there might be some kind of a disconnect because there's going to be a disagreement okay based on this disagreement this is telling you don't fear it don't run away from disagreement try to not be afraid to rock the boat because that's what's necessary okay now let's go ahead and see why this page of cups is in the near future why is this page of cups in the near future for you So you have here the two of swords, okay, the seven of pentacles, the judgment, as well as the seven of cups. You're going to have options. So don't worry, even if you reject something or somebody don't feel guilty for rejecting this person or this situation or this opportunity that you know in your heart is not for you, okay? Because why? Because you're going to have a lot of more options than just that one, okay? I feel like you're going to know that in the near future, you know, when you trust your intuition, you're going to have better options than this one. So don't lower your standards, okay? Because I feel like this is not good enough for you. Now, also, I do see here that there is going to be a potential reconciliation, somebody here wanting to come in to reconcile with you. You might say no. 
Who knows? Okay. But for most of you guys, I feel like you're going to say no. For others of you guys, yes, maybe you guys might want to work something out, but there's going to be a potential reconciliation coming in in the near future. For others of you guys, you're going to get enlightenment. You're going to hear the higher calling to change. You're going to learn some kind of a lesson and you're no longer going to be a part of this union, this person. Okay. Now I'm also getting that there's somebody here who's going to be waiting for your call. They're going to be waiting for you to do something, to say something. And I feel like you're not really doing something or will not be saying something because you're going to feel stuck in indecision. You're not going to know which way to go. You're not going to know what to choose. And what I'm advising you to do, what the cards are advise, ad, our spirit is ad, ad, advising you to do is to trust yourself, self-trust, okay? That's what's gonna give you clarity. We're gonna be going into the extended reading to see who this person is. I'm gonna dive deeper into their subconscious thoughts about you, their deeper feelings, emotions for you, also their next moves, actions towards you, okay? And how this entire situation will all resolve itself for you. If you wanna check, the link to the extended is down in the description box below. In the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts, thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with Psychic Soar so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10 and in a additional three minutes for free. I'm not the one doing the readings on Psychic Source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either talk to them online or call them. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my Psychic Source partnership is down in the description box below. And check out my website at ginamoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, rings, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and so much more for both men and women. So check that out at ginamoon.com and click on shop and follow me on Instagram at ginamoonofficial as I will be posting more on there.